Power Arena, where you join us on what is a momentous day for the 26 boxers who remain in contention. Because quite simply, every winner today in the 13 bouts that we have across two sessions of action will go through to Tokyo 2020. Each of these boxers potentially three rounds or less away from securing and realizing their Olympic dream. Of the 198 boxers who started this from 35 Olympic commissions across the mighty continent of Africa, all of these athletes now within touching distance of punching their way through to Tokyo 2020. Well, it's the 11th session of boxing coming up here in Ring A, and we have seven contests coming your way from the women's featherweight, women's welterweight, women's middleweight, men's 52 kilogram flyweight, men's lightweight, men's middleweight, and men's heavyweight tournament. Plenty of quality operators in action, including six number one seeds across the weight classes. Now, if you're in the women's flyweight, or the weight classes, the six weight classes below the 91 kilogram heavyweight division for men, there will be a third place box off. But again, none of these athletes will be thinking about competing in that single elimination box off for a third place spot. All of the athletes in contention today will have their eye on the prize, bidding to have their hand raised by the referee which will guarantee them a place at the Olympic Games in Tokyo later this summer. Well, my name is Ronald McIntosh. It's my pleasure and privilege to be your lead commentator once again for this 11th session of boxing. And joining us as ever in the co-commentator's chair, bringing all of his experience to bear in terms of insightful analysis and expert co-commentary is Alex Arthur, 1998 Commonwealth Games gold medalist and European and world champion in the professional ranks. So our focus of attention right now on the women's featherweight division. Alex, as we'll see the 57 kilogram semi-finalists get underway. But for all of the athletes here, Tokyo is now within touching distance. What will be going through the mind of these athletes right now? Well, that is the big difference now, Ronald. The fact that this is us. We are almost here now. And they, right now for these for, for these boxers, it is unbelievably nerve-wracking. I can tell you that. But it's how these boxers deal with that, that that really counts. And performing under pressure is something that they're certainly going to have to get used to if they're going to be going to Tokyo 2020. Well, that is the prize that awaits all of the victors in the contest taking place this afternoon. We're going to kick things off in the 57 kilogram featherweight division for women. We've got judges from India, Japan, Hungary, Ukraine, and Germany. With Ad Bertal, the 20 year old from Morocco, has just made her way into the boxing ring. There's the tournament number one seed, Kiamo Getsi Kanosi, leading the charge information of that victory. In the previous round, the number four seed from the West African nation eliminated by Widad Bertal. So can she perform another seed slaying exploit exploit here this afternoon? Morocco leading the charge in terms of Boxers who have progressed through to the final four, along with Algeria, they have sent eight boxers through to this stage. That is three more than Uganda and Ghana, who have five each. Dominic the D Democratic Republic of Congo and Kenya have sent four boxers through to the final four stage. So we're underway then. Semi-final action in the women's 57 kilogram featherweight division. The winner will be on the plane to Tokyo later this summer. And it's a brisk start by the boxer wearing blue. With Ad Bertal from Morocco has just landed a cracking left hook to get the attention of Kanosi. Yep, that was a brilliant shot to start. Perfect start there from Bertal. That will no doubt fire Kanosi up. And look at that right hook around the rear left glove. And it's interesting that she has made such a brisk start because these two boxers met at the All Africa Games in the first preliminary round in Morocco last year. Now we've seen boxers in the tournament so far calling timeout. That is not in the rule book. So the referee 
taking the time to acknowledge it, but it's the referee's yeah. discretion as to when the round should be stopped. Yeah, of course, yeah. And um, the, you could see right away that Kenosi's head guard was just not fixed on properly. The lace was flapping around all over. It's basically drowning her. She can't see <laughs> anything. So the action resumes then in this rematch between two familiar rivals from the All-African Games last year. On that occasion, it was the boxer wearing red. Kim Kiyama Gepsi Kanosi, who prevailed on a 4-1 split in the first preliminary round en route to All-Africa Games gold. But what a brisk start yeah. by Batal in this, taken, the return. That's a good a different, right hand from Kanosi, though. Yeah, she's taking a different approach altogether here, Ronald, isn't she? This is maybe doesn't quite work with her style, but she certainly has got a tactic, and it seems to me that it's to unset, unsettle Kanosi and really take her out of stride early. So approaching the midpoint of the opening round, on the front foot once again is Bertal, and in that cluster, well, some shots did get through the middle, and look at the roughhouse tactics on the inside, initiated by Bertal, being reciprocated by Kanosi. So the referee from Jordan having a firm word with Bertal about those illegal tactics. She's adopting a different posture now, up on her toes around the perimeter of the ring, and it's another maul once again on the inside. Yeah, Bertal's looking physically stronger, which I didn't think I'd find myself saying, because Kenosi is very physical. Misses with a one-two. Bertal just takes her off the line a little bit there. Oh, oh wow. there you go. Kenosi showing her strength there. Untidy is this. Bertal made a brilliant start. Kenosi did have some successes of her own, but there's a lovely left jab landed by the boxer in blue. But again, it's another more fest at close range. And the boxers are going to have to watch how they conduct themselves because the referee has spoken to Bertal in particular about these type, type of grappling tactics. Yeah, totally now, the admonishment really. in, in, in the direction of Kenosi. Yeah. Oh, good trading for both girls there. Both landing their equal share of shots. Bertal again for me, coming off the little bit better. This is real messy. The arms totally tangled up. The referee really doesn't know who to warn for what, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> so Clapper has sounded, indicating they're in the closing stages. Oh. That's a nice counter right hand by Batal after Kenosi miss. She bought through a half hook, half uppercut, which landed right on the money, the boxer in blue. This Very a, good opening round. That's a real physical one, Ronald, isn't Most it? It certainly is. Some sharp punch picking by the boxer in blue, but there was lots of wrestling in between. Very messy in some respects, but there were pockets of quality. Yeah, there certainly was, yeah. You can see both girls trying to really get going quickly. Bertal, for me, was the victor in that department. Oh, good trade-off. That was that good trade-off by both girls, landing good shots. So it's a 4-1 split in favour of Widad Batal from Morocco. Kiamagetsi Kanosi taking the round for Judge B. She's up off her stool, ready to begin this second round. Pat of encouragement from her coach as he departs the ring apron. So into the second round then. Kiyama Getsi, Kanosi from Botswana. Two-time participant in the Aiba World Boxing Championships. Oh. Exchange of straight shots, but Bertal's appear to be more potent. Yeah, it was a good right hand again from Bertal. And in, in the trade-off, she just seems to be coming off that little bit better. Looking physically stronger and a little bit more accurate and crisp with her punches. Her you... punch variety is a little bit better as well, Ronald, I would say. Good left hook there on the counter, wasn't it? Most certainly was. Clean single shot. Tucking up tightly behind a high-held guard, the grappling resumes once again. Bertal turning the tables and pinning Kanosi to the ropes. Now here, at least, they're trying to get their hands free to work yeah. away, but neither boxer willing to release the other. Yeah, you Kanosi know, rushing forward like a steam train, throwing straight punches, trying to really unsettle Bertal, but her movement is just too good so far. Credit to Kenosi, we saw on that previous movement to her oh. right, there's a nice right hook landed on the inside by the boxer in red, but she was effectively cutting off the ring. She wasn't following Bertal. She put her movement on an angle to take away that movement to Bertal's left. And she's looking to work inside as well now, Kenosi. It's not just wrestling, she's looking to get that right hand off. Oh, now this could be a problem for Bertal. 
And there is indeed oh. a problem. He, she has been spoken to repeatedly about the rough house tactics on the inside. And a point has been docked by the boxer in blue, which has encouraged Kenosi, who steps back into the breach with a brilliant right hook. Yep, she's looking good now. Hopefully Bertal doesn't let her head go down. Push her a brilliant first round. But Kenosi is really coming into this now, Ronald. Very much encouraged. Oh. What a left-right combination. My goodness, it dipped the knees of Bertal. And here she's well within her rights to hold on because she was buzzed by that combination. Fantastic punch. Superb. Looking for the same combo once again. The boxer's trading hooks after the initial attacks missed. And Kenosi has got herself on top here. Right hand over the top, followed by a right uppercut. These are difficult moments of this second round for Widad Bertal. She's already been warned for holding, and look at what she's doing right here. Having been buzzed by some terrific punch picking from Kenosi. Yep, Kenosi's looking far stronger now when the girls get up close. And she's looking to punch where Bertel is still looking to hold. Does that right hand over the top again, Ronald? Great shot. Crashing into the side of Bertel's head guard. She's had repeated success with that backhand in this second round. And Bertel clinging on desperately once again. And she's already been warned for that infraction. Closing seconds of the second round. There's another beautiful over the top right hand from Kenosi. Bertel's work becoming more ragged now into the southpaw stance, looking to back away, just looking to hear the bell. Nice right hand off the ropes from Bertel, but there can be little doubt that Kiamagetsi, Kiamagetsi Kanosi of Botswana dominated that second round. And remember, this boxer can't even get a share of it. She can score no more than nine, having had a point removed. Now, if she lost it 10-9, for example, this is going to result in a 10-8 round for Kanosi because that point will be taken off the score. Well, that, that's going to make a huge difference, really, because Kenosi is putting on the pressure now, and if she can have a she can have a third round like she did a second round, she's going to win out, run out this evictor. Let's see the scorecards from the five scoring judges. Remember, Bertal, who was spoken to repeatedly about holding, picked up a warning in the second round, and here's confirmation. 10-8 across the board in favour of Kenosi. She won the round 10-9, take the point away. And now Kenosi in a strong position on the scoreboard because this lady's 4-1 split in the first round was 10-9. So she's down a point for all five judges. judges yet. So into the third and final round then of a contest that is up for grabs. Beautiful boxing off the back foot by Kenosi. And what a turnaround oh. we've witnessed here. Punch picking effectively, walking the boxer in blue onto shots. Looking really good now, Kenosi. She's really warmed into this bout. She didn't look to be with it in the first round. Bertal started really quickly and unsettled Kenosi, clearly. But she's coming back into this now. With great strength, putting her punches together so well, Ronald. She's looking really good now. And the shots are having an increasingly pronounced effect on Bertal because she's doubling up the impact by racing into them. She has to try and overturn the deficit. Remember, the winner of this contest will go through to Tokyo 2020 by virtue of finishing in the top two. Mouthpiece has been dislodged. Well, Bertal, look at her thorax heaving up and down as she takes up residence in the neutral corner. She's feeling the pace of this one. Is Bertal. And there is still lots of time to go. But again, the, inc the incentive of a place at the Tokyo Olympic Games. Enough to see her dig deep and try and summon her last reserves of energy. It's going to be difficult to win the round from that position. Boxing on the back foot, yeah. trying to draw in Kenosi. The onus has to be on Bertal to close the distance and put some offense together on the boxer in blue. On the boxer in red, excuse me. A minute and a half to go. Kenosi comes on strong normally. Beautiful oh. left, right once again. It's dislodged the bandana from beneath the head guard of Bertal. Wow. Terrific punch picking. Beautiful shot. Using a long reach there as well. Brilliant stuff from Kenosi. So impressive. 
Right hand on the resumption once again. Oh, Batal nice. having to chase their opponent now. Kenosi able to adopt a different yeah. stance. We've got Kenosi dancing around the ring now. Oh, lovely one-twos from Kenosi. She's looking really good here. Still a minute to go for Batal. Kenosi will have to watch that. She doesn't pick up a warning for holding. She'd do well. Experienced operator, of course, the number 11 ranked boxer in the world who lands another oh. rapier like right hand and another one. Batal just running into punches from the accurate shots of Kenosi. When she sets her feet and determines what she's going to do, when she lets that one two go, she lands it with beautiful accuracy. Fantastic long range punching from Kenosi. Now, Kenosi doesn't want to be here because this is six of one, half a dozen of the other. Well, now, is that a knee? You cannot, I'm sorry, you cannot do that. Batal, we know she's only 20 years of age, but taking a knee voluntarily, she could well have been given a count. Yeah. It's not the boxer's responsibility to stop the contest, so equipment can be adjusted. That is down to the referee in the ring. And Batal, lucky that she didn't pick up an eight count there by voluntarily dropping to a knee. When you see boxers in all codes do that, the referee will toll a count. Well, not on this occasion. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> so, closing seconds then. Arcing right hand once again as Batal doing her best to retain her boxing stance. But it's going to be Kiamagetsi Kanosi of Botswana who goes through to wow. Tokyo 2020. Wow. There is jubilation in that red corner. The tournament number one seed producing a brilliant display in rounds two and three. Widad Bertal, only 20 years of age, remember. She has performed very well indeed during the course of this tournament, eliminating the number four seed at the quarterfinal stage. But her bid to reach Tokyo 2020 from Dakar will come to an end here at the semi-final juncture. Kiyama Getsi Kanosi, brilliant in rounds two and three, really made the adjustments and ran away with a dominant display. Kiyama Getsi Kanosi of Botswana is the first boxer through to Tokyo 2020 from the African Olympic qualification event here in the Senegalese capital. And she is dancing with delight at having punched her way through to the Olympic Games later this summer. We'll see her contest the 57 kilogram featherweight tournament. 